At one time, Nottingham boasted over 50 cinemas. Now, sadly, there are just a handful left. Many picture houses are like this, now a bingo hall. But we are able to go back in time with old Nottingham films preserved by the city's historical film unit. And we're going to look at some old films showing how Nottingham used to be. In 1958, the film Saturday Night, Sunday Morning would change the landscape of Nottingham filmmaking forever. Written by Alan Silito, its gritty representation of the Midland working class inspired a new generation of Nottingham filmmakers. Their ideals and philosophy were built around the shared accessibility of filmmaking. The group was called New Cinema Workshop. One of its pioneers was Frank Abbott. I think it was first in 1975 that a group of people met in Nottingham in the Peacock on Mansfield Road, um, interested in trying to establish some way of making films and videos together, and getting the equipment together and getting a workshop. At the same time, there was um, a group at a place called the Peachy Street Flick, which was at the Workers' Education Association, who were showing films that you couldn't get to see anywhere else. And those two groups met up and started to try and establish something which became a group called EM Films. As a group, we approached the Midland Group, which was a newly established multi-media um, arts centre, one of the first in the country, which was in the Hockley in Nottingham. And we said, could we establish a filmmaking workshop there? And um, alongside the painting, the sculpture, the performance art, which was going on there, we established a film workshop on the top floor. I first came across what became Intermedia, um, probably in about 1985 or something like that. And at the time, it was actually called the Nottingham Video Project. There was the Nottingham Video Project and the New Cinema Workshop. And they kind of got married and formed into media. So when I first ever came across it, it was still the Nottingham Video Project. And um, they asked me to do some teaching. I decided to get onto this course uh, run by Roger Notfail um, called Head Start. If you'd been unemployed for a certain period of time, you were eligible to apply, and it taught you everything. Everything that I couldn't really learn on the degree. I could learn about filmmaking, about uh, linear editing, film editing, and uh, non-linear editing, uh, digital post-production editing, and camera and lighting properly. Really concentrated for, for a whole ten months. And out of that, my whole kind of short filmmaking as a director started. And then the feature came out of that project. Um, which was Emmy funding and was essentially at the kind of birth of EM Media when EM Media became what it is or what it was um, as the main regional funding body uh, and they've supported me um, subsequently um, in terms of script development and paying to get scripts um, into pre-production or, or at least through the whole development process. Somebody like Chris makes one for the road which then the knock-on effect of that is that people work on that experience of seeing that happen and think well if, if this guy's done this and it's really good then maybe I could do that as well and, and they associate that success with being here and sometimes maybe even in this building but also in the city as a whole. But I think it did make a big difference and, and I think that um, a lot of what is now happening in Nottingham in terms of film goes back to that course or that ethos of trying to get people who perhaps wouldn't normally work in the industry actually giving them a way into the industry and giving them the tools and the concepts to be able to do it. The great thing was that people were constantly solving problems. Um, when we started, there was a, a short film festival uh, called Six of the Best that Shane Meadows set up, um, and three of the films in there would be by great new filmmakers, and three of them would be invariably by Shane. <laughs> It'd be six films, all, all, all with Shane in them. I started noticing that more, you know, sometimes half of them would be shot by me. I thought, oh my God, you know what I mean? I've, I've kind of started to make stuff. But then when that ended, when Shane's career started to take off, it, um, Bang Short Film Festival got set up. And it didn't just fill a void, it expanded a whole remit, a, a breadth of different short films from the region that could be screened. I think a city like Nottingham is, is small enough, actually, for everybody to be able to know one another. You know, the writers can know the performers, the musicians, and the filmmakers. And out of that, hopefully, new films can be generated. We've got a really good history in Nottingham for filming. Um, such an established filming community, but a really growing one as well. So it's something that tends to go on um, 
but we don't necessarily showcase it to the world that this is going on. Uh, but having films like the Batman film um, come into Nottingham filming at Woolerton Hall, that really helped to put us on the map because people actually across the globe got to see that Nottingham was there in quite a prestigious way. I think all of those uh, places, you know, Confetti, um, Antenna, BFI, the BFI Academy, all of those things that are happening in Nottingham are really important because where, where is the future going to come from? if not from there, you know. Well, there, there isn't one beginning to the story of Nottingham and film. There are lots of beginnings to the story of Nottingham and film, and there are lots of directions that it's going in, and anyone can kind of hop on and start contributing to that journey that Nottingham film is, really. Tell their own stories, be great documentary filmmakers, be dramatists, be short filmmakers, be promo directors, whatever it is they want to do, do it. Since the turn of the century, movie enthusiasts have been photographing scenes and events, never realising they would be seen years later with nostalgia and interest.